Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial of Rome going for the Kingdom of David achievement. Anyway, in this episode I would like to get the war against the Antigonid Kingdom going. Now, we need to wait for the Seleucids though to finish their war against Moria because we are going to be counting on their help. Egypt are currently occupied in a war. Um, the Antigonids are increasingly weak, they have no manpower, their ally, or big ally Thrace has also low manpower and is currently in a war. So I'm hoping that if the Seleucids can finish this war pretty damn quickly, we might be able to swoop in and take what we need. Um, now, I think I'm going to quickly try and make another claim on these guys, um, if I've got a claim on which area. Maybe Syria, if I haven't got, would be nice. Syria would be good. Yeah, Syria would be cool. Let's make a claim on Syria, because the more claims we have, um, the bigger the chance that the AI will hand us over land if they occupy it, so that is the reason why we're doing that. Would anyone else want to befriend us? Rome, do you want to be a buddy? No, they really hate our guts. Epirus, we broke the alliance, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, can we improve a relation? Yeah, but it's not going to help anything. What are we like? Um, what's it wise? Um... Idea-wise, I think we could probably change something here. I could get rid of the Omen power act uh, at the current time. Um, why not? Could I get rid of the Omen power? I think we could, you know. So, let's get ready for the war. So, I'm going to change this now, and I'm definitely going to put the extra discipline, I think. Elite soldiery would be nice. Yeah, let's get the elite soldiery in there pretty quickly. I'm going to keep the research points. I might change it for some extra morale just before the war starts. It all depends on how everything goes. Um, but I think we're pretty good here. We're making 10 gold per month. We are at 9,000 manpower. I'd like to get as much as we can. We have 225k stacks. Uh, but I would like to befriend a general um, or someone because we have really no decent commander. And I've had a look around. And in here we have this guy, Zipotes Arzakid. And he is a pretty decent commander. So if we can get this guy in, I'll be really happy. So we need to try and befriend him. Are you dying? No, you're still alive. I've got to say, I probably would prefer somebody a little bit younger. Like you, for example. Yeah, like you. You're fairly young. Yeah, we could easily do something with you. So what we're going to need, we're going to need a little bit more gold so I can actually bribe the guy. And, uh, well, bribe him. Well, kind of, like, pay gifts to befriend him. And then we'll befriend him. Then we'll inspire disloyalty. And then we'll see if we can get this guy in charge of one of our armies. Because our generals are pretty crap. But without any further ado, let's get rolling. Bim, bam, boom. So we have, this needs to be assigned to the region, um, a minor addendum. So Maro Manali has suggested a small addendum to an often referenced law pertaining the rights of the common folk. What do I do? Gain 6 stability for 10 political influence? Yeah, why not? Why not, why not? Got another import route here. Is there anything we can get that would give us a nice, sweet bonus? Anything at all? Marble we've got. I don't have a surplus of silk, but I can't get that. I don't have a surplus of dates. I would like that, but I can't get that either. Oh, olives. I don't have any yet. Let's get some olives from Egypt. Hopefully trading with them a little bit will stop them from wanting to attack us. Um, we need to really keep an eye out on how the war is going over here. Currently the Saluk is losing it. But as soon as the war finishes, that is when we shall strike. Uh, what do you want? They want honey. No problem. You can have your honey. Supply train wise, what do you like? We have 205 food and we take 5. We use 5 per month. So 10 months, that's 50 food. Um, 12 months, that's 60. 6, 12, we can last 2, 3 odd years um, about in enemy territory. So that should give us enough time to like... Yeah, we've got more than enough supply trains there. Because we can just take down province capitals and then resupply on the go. Anais falls ill. Um, this is not cool. Um, this is really, really annoying. He gains inflammation. And uh, hopefully we can... How do I seek treatment? Yeah, let's seek treatment. He has gold. So we'll seek treatment. We'll try and... Um, Kind of make ourselves get cured of our ailment. Trade hub developing. The little known city of Aki has been gathering quite a reputation for a hub of free trade. People from all origins are beginning to flock here in order to sell their wares. But where is Aki? We need to see what kind of area it is. Is it a city already? If it's a city, we could go for the citizens. But I have no idea. Aki is a city at the moment. And I reckon we should go for the double citizens. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Bam. 
extra research points. We're at 143 efficiency now, which is great. Extra martial advances, we're level 9 now, which gives us more morale. How much do we have over this guy? We have three levels, so he's got 0.45 army morale. We have 0.67. And this is going to play considerably um, in the war to come. It really will help. Please finish your poxy war, Sir I, I beg you. Treatment successful, we lose the inflammation trait, which is interesting. I wonder what this guy's going to be like. Um, let's, um, can I actually get you to educate my child? No, I can't, because I need an offspring. But of course, since he's the ruler, we can't educate the... It makes no sense. We should be able to educate ourselves or choose who we want to kind of get to educate us. I think that would kind of make sense. Um, but anyway, get a little bit more gold to get up to 200. Oh, and we've come of age, and we are really bad. We're ambitious, though, but we're not great. So let's try and arrange a marriage. Maybe with... Can we get one going with Epirus, maybe? It's like, if I went to the ruler family here, um, we sort by age, and I want female. So... What about you? No. They're all married, and they're quite old. She's not married just yet. So who can we marry? Anybody of any decent... Marry Manali. What about one of the major families? Who is the biggest family in our realm? The biggest family is currently the Manali family. Uh, our family is super tiny. It is insane. Wow, how tiny is our family? Is this pretender married? No, he's not. Hopefully we'll get married at some point. We don't have many people at all. Hopefully we're going to be able to, like, spout out some kids and keep the family going because she's married, but she's fled to Egypt. That's my sister, of course. She's fled to Egypt, obviously, because that was a plan we did to get the sister on the throne. But, of course, then our, we had the actual ruler we have now. We had a boy. Um, so let's see. Arrange a marriage. Now, we've got to find someone who is actually youngish. Yeah, there's nobody in there. Let's see in the Seleucid side of things here. Let's see what we can do. Maybe they have somebody. So, rule of family, female. 14. Well, let's wait for... To the 18th of May. So, we need to wait a year, around about. Oh, what's this? Safe haven from the Antigonid Kingdom. So, we've heard of our neighbours in the Antigonid, uh, in Antigonid Kingdom as treated Jewish populace in Cadassus, South Phoenicia, terribly and unjustly, mistreating them because of their different faith. As a Jewish state nearby, our people expect us to be a safe haven for Jewish refugees. It would most certainly make us popular among the leadership, unpopular, sorry, among the leadership of Antigonid Kingdom. Oh, yeah, let's bring them in. Two Hebrew citizens in Cadassus moved to Jerusalem. Yeah, we'll bring them in, no problem. No problem. Anan Zakadite died, or Zadokite died, sorry. It was the Rofit. I need a new Rofit, so I'll put this guy. You're pretty good. Someone good, hopefully, to try and keep us alive as long as possible. Um, why am I... Who's scorned? Oh, the Zadokites are. What are you like? You've got good... Yeah, I could probably get rid of Levi Manali here. Okay, problem solved. So now we've not got anyone scorned. They need to wait for the 18th of May next year. Ooh, murder, by the way. So we've been informed that Hanan Zadokai was found brutally murdered in his home just last night. Oh, a Travis but I'm powerless to act. Yeah, I can't act at the moment. Are you still fighting? You are. Please finish your war because we want to declare war on the Antigonids. And I really would like the Seleucid to join in. But all of his armies are currently fighting on the other side. Anyway, fleeing the dreadful war with Thrace, a number of important dignitaries have managed to escape to our lands, hoping to find refuge. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put them to death. They don't have any good people. And by the way, we have a bit of gold, so let's try and bring in the guy we wanted to bring in from the Antigonid Kingdom. I know there's, like, a guy that's not very loyal with decent martial stats. So get rid of um, that. I want any gender. So it is this guy. So let's try and befriend you. I'll try and make friends with you. Hopefully we can, and then I'll inspire disloyalty, and I'll get you to join us. Um, untiring devotion. That gives us three stability. Thank you. Takif wants to trade. That is not a problem at all. I'll happily do that. Uh, making an impression. So, uh, the official diplomatic channels offered many ways to impress and show respect, uh, respect for Pixadorus, uh, no, Pixadarus, sorry, 
unwanted. I said Pixodorus. Um, sound like a dinosaur. Um, so a diplomatic envoy is probably the most obvious, bringing gifts and public expressing our desire for friendship. I'll pay political influence, no problem. The benefits of power. Gain five tyranny. And lose ten political influence. Yeah, I'll do that, no problem. I'll gain a little bit of tyranny. I'm not overly bothered about that just yet. I would really want this guy to join us. If I can get him in. A gladiator. Lose some gold. Yeah, let's spend some gold. You know what? I'm going to spend the political influence. I want to make sure. I'm going to spend it all. I want to make sure we get this guy in. So we've got a friendship with this dude now. Okay, so that's really good. I can recruit you. Aha. Uh -huh. So you come into my service. And I will also... Can I force convert you? I'll force convert you. Okay. So now you're Jewish, which is good. Now can I give you control of one of my armies? Yes, I can. That is good. Okay, this is really good. So if I was to hand this to you, then that would be good. So you've got one guy, and he's got extra discipline as well. So that's great. So this is going to be our commander. So let's see. How are you now? You like us. That's good. Can I bribe you? Oh, he's honest, so I can't bribe you. Could I adopt you? Oh, no, he needs to be of our primary culture. But I'm happy with that. That's good. That gives us a, that gives us a decent commander ready for the war to come. We've got a little bit of manpower back. I can probably get an invention now. Maybe siege ability would be cool. Aggressive expansion change. That could also be nice. Province loyalty. Would be very nice indeed. And I'm going to take that straight away. Because that is going to help us with some province issues. Like over here for example. Thank you very much. So now we're gaining loyalty everywhere. So I'm quite happy with that. And I think we need to stockpile now as much gold as we can. You're still fighting but you're gaining manpower back. And I don't like that at all. Epirus. Do you want to be friends again? No you don't. Um... Was it in the Seleucid they had somebody? I'm pretty sure. I need to check. Rule of family. Gender. So one. Well, where's a the young? There we go. Age. So she is now 15. And it is on the 18th of May. So I need to remember. 18th of May we marry her. She's young and from the Seleucids. I've got another claim on the Seleucids. Uh, on the Antigonid site. So that's great. I'm going to make as many claims as I can here. Um, what can I go for next? Did we... Uh, Curiestis, whatever it is. Can I have a got that? No. Well, I think I've got enough claims here, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else I can really make a claim on. Maybe Cyprus. Yeah, I'll make a quick claim on Cyprus. Why not? Um, extra Orgy Advances, that is also very good. And we have another Roman to call down. And I will be calling down, of course, the Manpower Recovery Speed bonus. Because that is just awesome. And, of course, we gain a free investment for a province, which is fantastic. And, of course, we will be banging on the... There we go. Entice business investments in the capital. Get as many import routes as we can. Get as much gold as we can muster. So, in about a month, we can marry. We need to remember, 18th of May. So, let's slow this down. 16. Okay, so now 18th of May. This is great. Let's get the girl here. You. I'll arrange a marriage with our ruler. Thank you. Would you accept? And they accept. So that's great. So we get more opinion with the Slukids as well. So we keep their opinion incredibly high. I'm going to improve opinion with you even more. Can you just finish your war, please, against Moria? I really would appreciate it. The quicker you finish it, the quicker we can focus on fighting this guy. Before he gets his manpower back. Oh, well, he's got some troops over here. I suppose I could start. Do I want to start this? That is the question. Do I want to start this? I'm going to stockpile a little bit more cash here. What I am going to do, though, is move our armies over towards the borders. You're still loyal? You are still loyal, which is good. Um, I'm going to bring you over here now. And what we're going to have to do is uh, get ready to strike. 
pirate lair. So it has come to our attention that a pirate lair has sprung up in Skiakimina. So the local per the local merchants and traders clamor for us to root out these pirates. So what do I do? Do I get rid of them? Gain some popularity, lose local tax. Or I gain shrewd. Shrewd is a nice trait. Merc army maintenance minus 10%. We're going for the shrewd. Can I adopt anybody? Arrange adoption. I can adopt you. But I don't want to adopt that boy just yet. Hopefully he will start going rumpty dumpty with this um with this female. <laughs> I hope so. Adus. Ada Salukid, please pop out some kids. Pop out some kids. Commercial ventures, so we've got another trade route, so that actually fills up the one we lost there. So now we're still at 21. Um because we must have lost a noble or something. Uh, tech, 152%. I will swap this out for army morale, I think, pretty soon. Um, as soon as we get the required political influence, I will swap it out for army morale. And I think we should strike before he gets his stuff back. I really think we should. Um, the Salukis want to trade fish with us. I mean, really, just finish off your war, dude, please. Like, really finish it off. Now, there's a 27k stack there. I think they're stuck, though. Yeah, they're definitely stuck. I'm making 12 gold per month. Can I hire a Merc band? Well, I suppose I could actually hire a Merc band. We make enough gold. Um, we could probably just stockpile enough before we start the war. I'm going to give us... Let's get up to 20k manpower. Do I want to go for any of this extra stuff here? The siege ability would be nice. But I think we're going to keep the gold. We'll keep the gold. We need to keep it. I mean, there's... Oh, what's this? Menahem Nizat died. He died of a heart attack. Poor guy. So I've got another trade route now. I must have promoted a noble. Um, what do I want to go for? That is the very question. Oh, we get some dates now. From Sumer. That's good. National commerce income plus 5%, which increases our cash flow to about nearly 14. Oh, I'm no longer importing dates anymore. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. I just did that. Um, okay, so what can we go for? What can we go for? Something that would cost a little bit of gold. Like some... all incense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Local noble happiness. Look at that. Our nobles are so goddamn happy. We should be making a fair bit of gold and a fair bit of tech with this. 157%. This is wicked. Right, let's swap this out now. Let's go to the national idea. And I'm going to swap this now for the amount of armies. And uh, we're going to get ready to strike. I'm hoping these guys will finish their... Poxy War, who started it? So Lucan Boring War to take Parapomisade. Where the hell is that? Parapomisade, where the hell is that? I've no idea. Oh, it's here. Oh, fellas, just stop fighting, boys, really. Stop fighting, it's like pointless. You really should stop. Um, What about you? They like us enough now they don't really hate us like oh, let's improve opinion a little bit let's see if we can keep you on our good side for the moment because if i declare war i don't want to get caught and uh yeah getting caught is not something that i want you don't like us you hate us shame i can't take epis but they did they've took a bit of a beating though they've lost a bit of land and they took a little bit of a beating um yeah, we're going to wait a little, little longer. I'm just going to push it off a teeny weeny bit. Um, embrace piracy. Let's go for local pop growth and the province commerce. Tried to work with the pirates, so yeah, no problem. Egypt are willing to trade with us a fair bit. Come on, Salukid. Finish your war, man. Finish your war, dude. Um, yeah, we've got a strike now. I think we strike. We could probably, like, quickly occupy the war goal and win it that way. And I have a significant advantage over these guys. I mean, you've got army morale recovery, but you don't have anything to do with your um, army morale. We do, and I think we're pretty much ready to fly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop you over here. You're going to go this side. I will get rid of you and place a commander instead. I know I don't have anybody great, so I'm going to have to put a um, guy with a little bit of enslavement efficiency, I think. Ishmael Manali. You're not fantastic, but you will do the job. 
And uh, we're going to have to see what we're going to have to fight for now. And I've got another claim on the Antigonids. A troubling development. So we've recently seen that our steward, Ish uh, Mahel Nizat, as one of those under his charge, have been doing a disappointing job. Oh, he wants gold. I'm not giving you any gold. Can I bribe you quickly? Well, I'm not giving you the gold. I need the gold. So you're going to lose a bit of loyalty. And then I'm going to bribe you to get rid of the Civil War thing. So that is fine. Um, what is our corruption, by the way? Only slightly corrupt. Only slightly. Is our wife pregnant? No. Um, we're going to slow the speed down here, and I think it's time to strike. I'm hoping the Seleucid will um, put an end to his phony war. Or at least will occupy the Antigone long enough for us to take what we want, so I think it's time to go. I really do. Um, South Phoenicia has got to be the goal here. Oh, Cappadocia won't join? Because they're at war and they have low manpower. Why? Why, why, why? Yeah, well, they have basically no manpower at all. Okay, this changes things a little bit. Well, actually, not that much. I'm still fairly confident. He's gaining gold, so we could hire mercs in theory. Um, do I do this? Do I do this for South Phoenicia? They do bring in a few people. Who does he bring in? Does he bring in Sidon? No. Does he bring in Arados? Up here. He does bring in Arados. But he doesn't bring in these two. And we have, like, more manpower than this guy. I could hire mercs. So, we're going to give this a go. Am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? This could be... It's very risky, but I feel we've got to do it because he's got no manpower. We can do some damage to this guy. Uh, we can bring in the Seleucid, so let's do this. I mean, why not? Nobody else would like to join us unless, 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 I can bring in to mud. They're already fighting. God damn it. What about Carthage? No. Ionia? No. Byzantion? No. Them as well, I can't bring in. He's basically nobody. Like, there's only us. It's the tricky part with Judea, because you're kind of stuck between multiple people. Oh well, let's uh, do it. Screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. We've got to try, haven't we? Take South Phoenicia. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. South Phoenicia, this is the province we want to occupy. We should be fine. Or can I go for something quicker? Like Damascus, maybe. Or Syria Coeli could be pretty easy to take. Yeah, let's lock down South Phoenicia. It's easier to lock down, isn't it? Um, yeah, they really don't want to join. But I think we should do this. Let's go. Oh, am I doing the right thing? I hope I am. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's wartime, people. It's wartime. It is wartime. They've joined, which is fantastic. Hopefully, Bactria will join in the fight as well. Bactria have joined in the fight. Arthur must join as well. They have joined. So, um, let's have a look at the um, sides here. Wow, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of units on each side. I'm hoping that we have the better quality. I suspect we do. So let's give this a go. We've got to try this anyway. We, we have to. There's no there's no other thing we can do. So you're going to go here. We have a decent commander, so I'm fairly confident that we can do something. So we need to occupy this quickly, and then we need to move in and help. These, these stacks need to stay together. It's vitally important that we do not spread them out. Um, let's go for the extra tax here. The more gold we can get, the better. And I might actually hire some mercs if we can hire mercs. I am incredibly tempted to do so. Just because it does help. I mean, we've got... Make 15 gold a month. I could hire this... Uh, I know there's a 12k stack Merc band somewhere. Well, there was, but they've increased now. So, who are you? You've got him. This guy's pretty decent. Gatamid's Mercs will hire you guys. I can maintain them, so that's why I'm going to hire you fellas. So you're going to go into my land here, and you're going to replenish. 
Okay. Yeah, we can hire them, which is good. This is good, this is good, this is good. So this increases our fire. Um, and, of course, we have, like, a 12 martial stat general here, which is going to be very helpful indeed. Um, this is 21% now. Come on, full, please. Please, 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 please. Nope, 28%. So these guys need to... I'm going to do a bit of unit reorganization with these guys. It's going to cost us a bit more maintenance, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Just for the time being, so I can actually get their morale up to scratch as fast as possible. Um, you need to stay just behind. Oh, wow, that fell. That was great. That was great. Okay, we've got one pop to Dan. That's ironic, isn't it? Okay, we've got some stone from you. That's not a problem. So now we have occupied this. Am I, who am I at war with? Let's check here. Not with you. Um, so now we need to slowly edge our way forward. I'm going to wait for the other guy to come. For the 25k stack to arrive down here. A crisis in Tamud, so they have a bit of a succession crisis, but then again, that's not our problem at the moment. Really is not. Um, why can't I occupy this? Let's go and occupy it quickly. I don't know why it's not being occupied. There's no fort on it. You're going to move just up here now. You're nearly at former... Well, not nearly at former now. You're nearly halfway. Um, Armenian Civil War ends. Okay, interesting stuff. The Seleucids... I have brought some men down here, which is fantastic. So they're going to keep them occupied a little bit. Uh, we are at four war score, which is pretty good, I've got to say. Now we are going to march just here. And you are going to march here. And I'm going to keep you guys right next to each other. There's no way I'm splitting you fellas up. And that is not going to happen. Um, so you're going to now stop reorganizing. Which is what we want. Because it's going to cost you too much gold. So hopefully you're going to reorganise on your own now. Uh, well, not reorganise on your own, but just slowly tick up. You're advancing here, you're advancing here. I want to keep them all together. The Faith of Samuel. So I lose 18 gold, but gain 6 stability. And do I want that? Yeah, I do. Let's take it. Let's take it, let's take it. At the end of the month, we're in positive again, which is good. Now we need to really occupy the province capitals here. This is like vital... Um, we need to knock this guy out as well, which would be good stuff to do. So you're going to go here, you're going to go here. You guys are still increasing your morale. We lose dysentery, which is good. I think our ruler was ill for some weird reason. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The quicker we can finish this war, the better. With minimal losses would be great. I feel that that would be a fantastic thing to do. Um, so I'm going to move you just over here as well. We'll keep the worst general just behind. Um, and I'm going to bring you the Merc army at the end of next month. I'll bring you... Actually, I'm going to bring you up now, actually. I'll bring up some reinforcements. We're sieging pretty quickly as well because we have some decent tech. We won't want grain. So you can have that. So we have a lot of men grouped together. I'm hoping that the AI is going to be a bit stupid here and kind of like spread them all out. I mean, he is fighting a war with Horea, and I don't know where Horea is. That's all the way over on the other side. And I bet you they've got most of their men over there. So this was actually a really good time to strike at the moment. It's all going pretty much according to plan. Um, you're going to go and take this capital here. I want the province capitals here. It's vital. So I'm going to race to Palmyra as well. I don't know if this guy's got a claim on it. So um, I'm going to race over there pretty quickly. If I can take all this up to Palmyra and maybe this like we've got here, I'll be really happy. I'll consider it a successful war, to be honest. But let's go over to Palmyra quickly. Move you... Actually, you're going to stay here just in case. I don't want to move you. Okay, so we've got 22k stack there. So we're not going that way. So we're going to double back here. Minor addendum. Gain 6 stability for 10 political influence. Yes, please. Let's have some of that. And then we're going to go and wipe out this 22k stack. I think that would be the best thing to do. There's a sandstorm as well here, which is going to do uh, some damage to our army... Um, Give us some attrition, which I don't want. But we are going to bring them all together and then sweep up to Palmyra, I think, would be the best bet to do next. Please fall. Nope, 28%. It's not falling just yet. The sandstorm is sweeping towards us, so hopefully it will go away. I wonder where the modifier is shown. I'd like to see how much attrition you take from being in the storm. But we don't know at the moment. 28%, please fall, people. Nope, 35%. It's still not gone down just yet. Okay, so this is our first major battle here. So we're going to trap this guy. He's coming in with a 26k stack. We have bottleneck. I'm going to keep on... I'm going to keep... I'm going to put the... 
I'm going to keep bottleneck and I'll see what he does and then we'll change it accordingly. So when are you going to arrive? Are you locked yet? Okay, your unit locked. We're going in to help now. And I'm going to move you back one square and you can reinforce if need be. Okay, so what's the tactic? We've got the right one. Bottleneck has gone shock action. Okay, so here we are. We have uh, more men. So we are currently flanking, hopefully. Um, I think we should be flanking. We are... Well, does he have more men than us? Well, he maybe started with more men. But anyway, we are currently fighting. Come on. And we are absolutely smashing him down now. Oh, my God. He's like, we're losing like 200 men. He's losing men in the thousands. It's crazy. This is like destruction. Come on. There we go. Tactical supremacy. So, Pixadaris Aronted the Syrian. He's got a nickname now and he gains victorious. That is cool. So, why have I got a potential civil war here now? Someone has just gained something. This researcher. I'll quickly bribe you to get you away. So that battle was pretty easily won, thanks to our decent commander. Um, so I'm going to send you guys just back one here, and we'll just then probably sweep over to Palmyra next. Uh, please fall. Nope, 42%, not falling just yet. Get you off Force March. I don't want to send you guys too far away. That was a beautiful victory. Beautiful, beautiful battle, and a beautiful victory. Okay, the Siege of Arpad has been won, so that's good. Now we're going to do a sweeping movement, and we are going to move all our armies all the way over to Palmyra here. Uh, we're just trying to link them all together in the same area. And we'll make sure we occupy the province capitals, which is of vital importance for the moment. I can't stress how important these province capitals are. So we've got some of the forts here. Now we've got an army there, and I might be able to catch these fellas. Um, okay, so apparently we'll lose this fight, so let's see what he does. So there's a 33k stack going there. We've arrived just in time here. Let's wait for him to be unit locked. Okay, he's now unit locked. We're moving in. I'm going to send in. Like, let's do this tactic thing right first, okay? Um, so I'm going to send in the first guy. The Merc commander is going to wait a day. Okay. Then I'm going to send in the Merc commander. So we need to make sure who arrives. So one arrives on the 30th of May, other one arrives on the 31st, and then you're going to join in. So I'm going to leave the first guy here on bottleneck. When do you arrive, by the way? The 30th of May. So let's wait and see what happens. So 30th of May. I need to remember that we arrive on the 30th of May here, and then as soon as we hit the 30th, right there, we pause it. What's the tactic? Bottleneck, which is great. So we're going to leave you on bottleneck. We're going to also leave you on bottleneck. So we have the right tactic. And now we should join in, and now we should be doing some damage to these guys. Remember, these fellas do have a lot of tech because they're small states. Like, he has, like, level 12 military tech, which is crazy. Oh, bountiful Harvest, 300 gold. Thank you. Just at the right time. So we've joined in at the right moment here, which is fantastic. So that's left these guys to, for dead. Now we're just going to split you guys up slowly here, and we'll wait to see what this 38k stack does. Anyway, disaster. What's this? So in the midst of the swirling engagement, Zilias Gortmitted was struck by a bow arrow, so he's a general of the Merc. Hopefully he won't die. No, he didn't die. Oh, we have a son, though, which is good. So now we have a boy. So thankfully we have uh, the dying... Well, the family is... Um, Assured, or the family legacies assured. Impatience is a virtue, so Onias Iscariot wants a position. Onias Iscariot. Onias Iscariot. I'll put you here for the moment. Okay. So now you should give us a lump sum of gold. So what's this guy going to do? Is he going to attack us? I think he might actually. We'll see what happens. I've got a feeling he's going to want to fight. But how, I don't know. Where is he? Okay, so we've got a 41k stack fighting. We've got 41k coming this way. Can I dodge you at any point? Alright, let's link up. There's a lot of men coming around here now. So we need to do, we need to dodge all this. So maybe we can actually catch you. Yes, I've caught you. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to keep Bottleneck. I think that is what they're using. So we're going to keep Bottleneck. We'll go and try and get him quickly before he runs away. The more damage we can do to this guy, the better. Okay, so we've... Oh, God. So he's arrived first. Why did he not arrive first? Holy crap, that's bad. Whoa, did I just leave one on Force March? That was very risky. That was incredibly risky of me. Um, 
We gained Conqueror though. Who gained Conqueror? The Merc General did. Did I leave? Oh, I did. I left one on Force March. That nearly cost us quite a bit. That was dangerous. Um, I'm going to go up to Palmyra now with all my troops. And we'll just occupy this. Then we'll slowly come back and occupy the rest of the land down here. But that was dangerous. Okay, where's he going? To Palmyra? Nope, you're going down here now. Actually, let's wait for this guy to be unit locked. So now you're locked. Oh no, can I actually catch you if I was to force march? I really would like to catch you. Yes, I've caught him. I've caught him. So he's going to be smashed. So what's the tactic? Still same. He's going envelopment, so nothing really changes there. He is losing twice the amount of men we are, which is vital. If we can get him to lose more men than we lose, then of course um, victory will be ours. There's another battle that's won. I'll take you all off Force March now, just so you can get your morale back. I might actually occupy this, then push back a little bit and hide um, back behind our lines. And how kind? Oh, we gained gold. So he gained us a, got a lot of gold for giving the position to that guy who wanted a position. I've got 21 war score at the moment. I want some more. I could do with a little bit more war score. So you guys are just going to occupy Palmyra quickly. It is the capital province, so it would help us with the um, with the war score. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly march backwards here and um, kind of stick together. I don't want to split you up too much. What can I do for peace here? It would hand us a lot of land at the moment. Um, not maybe not this to be honest that is not something that I would want just yet but Palmyra would be something that I would consider because it gives me a common border with the Seleucids and we are negative seven reasons to get that this as well would be lovely It'd be a nice big chunk negative 17 reasons we can do this maybe another big victory or two and we should be fine but no matter what happens we are currently in the position of strength Egypt still like us, they don't want to kill us just yet, and they're currently fighting the Barker Revolt, so that is not our problem, which is good. So that's occupied. The more land we can take here, the better it will be. This, Yeah, they've got no manpower left. We'd completely trounce their manpower reserves. Alright, let's move up here now. Slowly keep you guys together. Could probably take out that 18k stack, to be honest. We'll go and get them. They're going to be trapped behind enemy lines. Poor Harvest. Damn. I'll lose 10 popularity. But we should gain popularity once we win the war anyway. Um, Anais falls ill. He gains Mentagra. So I could probably try to seek treatment with you. I've got the gold. So I'm going to seek treatment. Okay. So the 30k stack coming this way. Right, let's join you fellas together. Right, we need to get you guys... We need to get them when they're all split up. But let's just march you together with each other here. See what we can do. But what if I was to join in the fight here? Yeah, he's legging it now. But I've caught some of them. So that's them smashed. So that's a thousand men down. Now I'm going to catch you. Oh no, I'm not going to catch you, but what I am going to do is I am going to force march now, and I am going to catch you this time. And of course, your army's completely split. So by the time you arrive, you're going to lose. So we've got there in time. We don't have any advantage over him, but we do have the extra morale. He's had to go all the way around because of the fort. So by the time he arrives, we should actually have smashed him. He's arriving with some more men. It is way too late, my friend. This is going to be a big, big victory here. Ha ha! Fantastic. That is great. That is one hell of a victory. And this is going to really do some damage. Because now he's basically got like nobody to... He's got no manpower. So there's nothing he can do. He can't even replenish the troops he's lost. So we're going to keep going. I think we can do a significant amount of damage here. I mean, alright. We may have low manpower. Right, these mercs are going to do the... Occupy all this. You're going to move there. You're going to move here. Rome want to trade, that is fine. I'll happily trade with you. And now we just need to occupy as much land as we can occupy. Come on, come on. 
Alright, let's go here. The mercs will do the damage down there. That's fine. That's awesome. You're now going to move up here. You're going to move on here. And we'll just kind of move slowly together. Then maybe we should just march on his capital. Maybe a march on the um, enemy's capital would be a cool thing to do. Um, so let's march here. You're going to march up here. Actually, no, I'm going to wait for you. You can stick together here. I don't want to separate you too much. Here we go. Look, there's the... Quite a, fair, quite a fair few men here. Okay, are you going to attack me? Well, let's see what we can piece out for here. We might be able to be a bit cheeky. Let's reset. Take this. Take this. This. And this. No, they don't want to give me all that. But then that's understandable. It is understandable. Are the Seleucids still fighting on the other front? Yeah, they are. We need to end this quickly before the Seleucids really blow up. So, what we're going to do here is we'll sue for peace. We'll take this. We'll take Syria. We'll take this. I would like to take Palmyra. It gives me a common border with the Seleucids so we can actually help each other out. Negative nine reasons. That would be an awesome thing to be able to take. What are these guys doing? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to drag it out too long. Because it's dangerous if we do that. It is really dangerous if we drag it out too long. So, let's reset. And we might as well eat at them bit by bit. I mean, there's no shame in doing so. A reset. We'll take this. We'll take this. And I'll go for Palmyra here. Because it gives us a common border with... Um, the Seleucids, so they can actually help us. Well, we already have a common border, but then... Do I want that? I think we should. Can I get you to cancel release people? No, I can't get you to release anybody just yet, but... I feel that this is good gains, really. It is. We gain three provinces, pretty much. And if I had more manpower and if the Seleucid was kind of better off, then maybe I could continue. I'm really trying to debate what to do here. Um, okay, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little break here and I'm going to debate whether to continue the war or whether to not continue. I really don't know just yet. I'm, I really would like to take another big chunk off this guy. I really, really would. But I don't know if I can do the thing. Um, I'm going to think about it and um, I'll come back to you guys in the next episode. But anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more Imperial Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.